Hello, my name is Nicolas Trichet from McAfee, and today I'm going to guide you through the deployment of McAfee ESM on AWS. First, we start by selecting the Amazon Linux AMI. The reason we need that server is to run a Linux script, which will allow us to create the final VM for McAfee ESM. Here, we are selecting a simple M4 large instance. This is one of the cheapest options which appears on the list of instances supported by this AMI. You need to set the right subnet to ensure that you can access it from an internal network and from the internet. Then run a final review and launch this instance. In the next steps, we keep the default storage option and we select the right network security group. And then we do a final check. Please note that throughout this video, we are accelerating some of the steps. This is the new instance, which we are renaming. In the security groups, we need to ensure that we enable SSH to be able to copy and run the installation script. In here, you can see the public IP address and the private IP address. The next step is going to download and then to upload the McAfee AMI script for that VM. This is the McAfee download web page. In this example, I'm building an all-in-one combo server. Note that the file is 2.1 gigabyte, so this is going to take some time to download and to upload the file. So again, we're going to accelerate the video for that step. You need to change the permission of the installation script and run the file. Here, we're going to accelerate the video again. The full execution of the script took about 18 minutes. This is the new AMI in AWS, so let's run it. For a combo VM, I need to select an instance with at least 8 cores and enough memory. Please ensure you follow the guidelines from the latest McAfee SIM specification sheet. As you can see, not all instances are compatible with this AMI. Again, I need to select the right subnet and the right network. By default, the volume type is GP2, and for better performance, you could select IO1. In this example, I'm going to set the volume to one terabyte. Again, we skip the tags and we select the right network security group. Once the ESM VM is created, I can stop the Amazon Linux server and even delete it.
this is the public IP address and the private IP address of the new VM. Because I will need HTTPS, I enable HTTPS and we may as well enable HTTP and SSH. Once the VM instance is fully started, you can launch a web browser and continue the installation as a new Mac VESM.